it's Sarah again. Um, I have a one more quick project share tonight. Um, I got these coffins. These little. I'm gonna raise my tripod a little. I think it's just gonna be better. Um, this one's paper mache. I got this one at um, AC Moore. This is the biggest one, and it's uh, eight inches by about three. And it's paper mache, and it has so that you could fit a nice mini album in there. I mean, it's be kind of skinny. And then, oops, some pearls left over from my other project. Um, this one, these were the first ones I got, and these were at Michael's. And this is the smallest ones. These are only five by two and three quarters at the widest, and two at the narrow part. So, and then this one. I found at Michael's, I mean AC Moore too, six by three at the widest, which I really like these. These are, this is a worthwhile size to play with. So I bought a couple of these. Um, I got the idea to do a spooky coffin, which I don't think is my forte. I'm not a spooky coffin girl uh, after all. I'm going to pick this um, mat up because I think it's just making too much of a glare. Um, Anyway, uh, I did my best and I tried to crackle them. I actually painted the, the box first. I did the two-step crackle process. So I painted first with um, Tim Holtz's this gold, the gold dauber. And that takes real nice to the wood. And then I put the crackle on and let it dry overnight. And then I applied, I think it was like red... Um, it was like black cherry. It was black cherry. So it's not quite brown. It's like a reddish brown. Anyway, here's my big one. This is the one I finished. I just finished it. Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, it didn't turn out as spooky as I thought it would be. It's not really spooky at all. <laughs> um, it's okay. I think I'm going to enjoy covering with, with Halloween paper. I think that's really what I want to try and do next. But... I got, so I crackled it. I just put some um, trims on. There's a black trim here. I put some of those little feet on the bottom. So you can kind of tell that it's like gold underneath the brown, or it's actually black cherry. I mean, I like the crackle and everything. Um, and then I got, this is actually one of those little wood crosses, and I um, embossed it with gold, and then I just glued this piece on. I was going to put like a spooky face in there, but I didn't have, I like those spooky cameos, but I didn't have any of them. And then I just put one of these as a bead landing, I think, the little bows. Because I tried working with ribbon and tines. It just didn't look right. And then I made this little rest in piece. It's cut from a piece of, um, uh, I think it's, it's not my mind's eye. I think it's Prima. And it was just a big sheet of paper that looks like wood. It has like the wood grain in it. And then I used my, like, um, those scissors that have different designs on them. And it kind of made it look like a, an old piece of wood, which I kind of like that. I was proud of myself for that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I just put a cross on it. And then inside, I did make a mini. I just see there's the gold. That's the Tim Holtz gold. And then I made a little mini. And this is just that stuff you get from the dollar store. I'm not crazy about it. People had used it, and I've been trying to use it, but... I figured I'd just line the box with it. It looked okay. And then this is my mini. I just traced the coffin and kind of measured in a little bit. That's all I did. And just used some paper from some of my new pattern packs of paper. Um, I haven't embellished it or done anything really to it. It's just double-sided paper. And, I mean, I figure somebody could put their pictures in there and their um, journaling and have a little place to keep some Halloween stuff. Or not, you know, but it was just something I thought I'd do so you could see how big it is to use. So and it has a nice little um, clasp on it. And so that's it. That's my little coffin. Like I said, I think I'm looking forward to trying it again, but I'm going to use um, paper. I'm going to alter it with like some pretty papers and like, I don't know, do embellishments that way um, and see how that comes out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.